welcome back to the episode 3. Now let's try our hands on some examples. A body of mass 40 kg is acted upon by external force whose magnitude is 120 newton. What is the acceleration of the body? From this question we were given, let's try our hands on it. We have the mass. Mass of body is given us 40 kilogram. And we also have an external force. So the force is given as 120 newtons. And we have to calculate for the acceleration. Acceleration. So now, A is what? So now we are to find the acceleration. Let's find the formula. What is the link between mass, force, and acceleration? We know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we know F is equal to MA. That's our equation. So we have to find acceleration. Let's make acceleration the subject. So A is equal to force on what? Mass. And we can bring our values. So acceleration, which is equal to the force, 120 newtons on the mass, 40 kilogram. And we are getting our acceleration to be 3 meter per second square. So we are done for this question. The formula is given as mass times acceleration. So we have our force and our mass. You just have to make the acceleration the subject and do substitution. We got 3 meter per second squared or 3 meter per second squared. That's the answer. Example 2. Calculate the weight, the weight of a body at the surface of the earth. If it has a mass of 675 kilogram, the weight of a body. So let's assume we have a body like this, a block. That's on the surface of the earth. So it's on the ground. We know that the weight is acting what? Downwards as a result of what? Gravity, the weight. And we know that the weight of a body is giving us the mass times acceleration. But this time, since it is being acted upon by acceleration due to gravity, we represent it by what? G, where G has its constant value on what? Earth. So we can say that the weight from the question, we were given these parameters as mass was equal to 675 kilogram and we know that our g gravity acceleration due to gravity is giving us 9.81 meter per second square so we can find our weight straightforward the weight is the pull towards what the center of the earth and it is being done by what the gravitational force. So we have to calculate for the weight. So weight is equal to mg and we have our m to be 675 kilogram multiplying the gravity 9.81. So in all our weight, the weight of the body is now giving us what? 6 621.75 newton since weight is a force yes the unit for weight is also what newton because it is what the force trying to pull the body towards the center of the earth then or the weight of the block with mass of 675 being pulled by the earth is given us 6,621.75 newtons. Example 3. 
determine the mass of an object that has a weight of that. So now we are to determine the mass of object with this weight given. So A, now express the answer to three significant figures. You can forget about that or you can run your answers to three significant figures. So solution. My main focus is to show you how to work with the formulas, but to the significant figures, you can work on that. So A, we are to determine mass. So what is the relationship between mass and weight? You know that weight is given as what? Mass times acceleration due to what? Gravity. So W is equal to mg. And we have to find the mass. So can we say m mass is equal to that on gravity? But we know that gravity is given as what? 9.81 meter per second square. So A, the weight is 20 milli newtons. Milli, these are prefix, kilo and mega. So milli, which is 10 to the power negative 3. So our mass is going to be 20 milli, 10 to the power negative 3, on our gravity, 9.81. Therefore, our mass is going to be 2.04 times 10 to the power negative 3 kilogram. B, if the weight is 150 kilonewton, so our mass is going to be the weight divided by gravity, and the weight is 150 kilo, 10 to the power positive 3 kilo on the acceleration due to gravity. So our mass is going to be a huge mass, kilogram, yes. So this is the mass of an object with the weight 150 kilo newton. Don't forget your prefix, the milli, the kilo, and the mega. And the C part says 60 mega newtons. So mass, which is equal to the weight is 60 mega. Mega is 10 to the power positive 6 on gravity, 9.81. And it is given our as a mass of very huge mass, 61607.95 kilogram. So these are the masses for an object with this weight. Let's move to the next example. Example 4. This one deals with the Newton's law of universal gravitation. The first three examples were under the second law of Newton, force, which is mass times acceleration, or weight, which is mass times what? Gravity. So let's look at how to solve a question on the universal gravitational law. And let's read the question and bring out our parameters. Two particles have masses of 8 kilogram and 12 kilogram respectively. If they are 800 millimeters apart, determine the force of gravity acting between them. Now compare this result with the weight of each particle. You take the G, which is the gravitational constant, as this value. And we can make a demonstration here, two particles. Let's say two particles this way. So this is M1 and this is M2 of mass, eight kilograms. So this is of eight kilogram and 12 kilogram, respectively. If they are 800 millimeters apart, so the distance between their centers, that will be 
800 millimeters. Determine the force of gravity acting between them. Obviously, we know from the law of gravitation that for each two particles, there's a force that exists between each of them. Each of them is trying to pull the other with a force. So this is a force of what? F2, and this is pulling with a force of what? F1, and F1 is equal to what? F2. And now the question is asking us to calculate for this force, the F1 and F2, which are equal. Let's calculate for them. And we know that the force is proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the particles. And we can further make it as and bring a constant, which is the gravitational constant, m1, m2, and the square of the distance. Do we have our parameters? Yes. So we have our m1 to be 8 kilogram, m2 to be 12. And we know that the distance was 800 millimeters. We have to work in what? Meters. So I'll have my distance, which is r. I represent it by r which is, so converting 8 millimeters to meters will be 0 0.8 meters. You divide by 1,000. And we have our G to be 6.673, negative 11. So we can put in our value straightforward from this formula. So F will be equal to, what, what G? G is 6.6. 73 to the power negative 11. And we have our m1 to be 8 and m2 to be what? 12. And the distance between them is 0 point what? 8. Remember it is squared, so square. Now, when you punch this on your calculator, the force given will be 1.00095 to the power negative 8 Newton. So this is the magnitude of force that will be acting between two bodies of mass, 8 kilogram and 12 kilograms, separated by 800 millimeters apart. Compare this result with the weight of each particle. So if you want to compare your results, you have to get the weight of what each particle. So the weight of one, which will be the first one, will be the mass eight by gravity nine point eight one, and that is giving you an answer, which is so the weight W one seventy eight point four eight newtons. This so is the first weight. Let's look at the second weight, twelve by 9.81 and this is what we are getting the weight of the second one w2 is giving us 117.72 newtons so if you compare your answer to the weight you can see that the force acting between the two particles is less as compared to what the weight because this is to the power negative eight negative eight which is somewhere zero point zero one point zero 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 nine five newtons very small comparing it to the weight which is seventy eight point four eight newtons and hundred and seventeen so you can say that comparing the force of gravity acting between them is lesser than the weight of what each particle. Thank you for watching this episode. We will start with a new aspect in the next episode. Thank you.